Well, I was cycling prepped, ready, I think. Everything's pretty much done, what we needed to do. It's now one o'clock, and the uh, wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, they had died, not, died off a bit. There was not much wind. Sun actually came out, rain stopped. But I can feel now, uh, breeze is starting to pick up. Got the dog house inside. Got the, um, Got as much stuff from the backyard into the um, into the garage. You know, bins, barbecues, etc. I've used um, put a mattress up against the, the garage door in the car to stop it from uh, the garage door blowing in. Um, I've turned turned the solar power off as well. Uh, we've got plenty of water, food, so yeah, hopefully we've done as much prep as possible. Hopefully we don't need to use any of the prep or hopefully it's just uh, it dies down a bit. It's not as strong by the time it hits us. Now we're just going to fill out the baths up with water, just extra water just in case we need for cooking etc. I think we've got enough for drinking but you can never have enough water. So yeah, let's see how we go. It's 1 p.m. still pretty quiet. It's starting to get dark in a little bit in the skies, but okay, it's now 4:30. 4:30 p.m. Thursday, day one of the cyclone. And uh, yeah, winds definitely starting to pick up. Still a couple of birds flying around though, which I find interesting. So I was always uh, under the impression that. Um, you know, when the storm comes and all the birds normally fly away, but I've seen a few birds flying around today, which, yeah. Yeah, definitely starting to pick up now. Okay, rain and, uh, rain and wind really starting to pick up now. It is now almost six, and uh, we just got a message from the government saying that strong winds, extreme winds, are gonna commence around 7 p.m. So I think uh, we're getting closer to the main event. Alain is preparing a um, emergency bag just in case we do need to evacuate, which we shouldn't have to. But just in case, she's bringing a bag with our clothes and for the girls and a couple of things for us and just a few snacks. Um, yeah. Alright, uh, 10 past 7 and uh, yeah, the wind is definitely, definitely picked up now. Uh, very, very windy. Uh, lots of rain. So, yeah, I think it's definitely getting closer now. Uh, I think they're still saying it's going to cross over around 10, 10 p.m. So it's still got another three hours. But, um, yeah, it's getting really windy now. Okay, update. Uh, what time is it? It's quarter to nine. Looks like we're in the eye of, uh, of the cyclone. The winds were pretty strong, a bit of rain, uh, a bit of noise. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, um, which is a good thing, I guess. 
Um, the girls were still awake watching a movie in one of the rooms with the Lini. Um, but yeah, now just waiting for the eye to, to go past and the winds pick up again. Um, hopefully it's going to be the same. Um, we'll see, see what happens. So far, so good. Okay, cyclone has passed. Um, it's now six in the morning. I actually, we actually all slept through the second part of it. Uh, I think we were lucky though. It actually, uh, the main, main part of the cyclone just crossed just north of us. So we weren't affected too much. I uh, didn't think I could see straight away here. On our street is one small tree we had here at the front has broken in half. It's not too bad. Not sure how strong the second part of the winds were, but we were so tired that we all fell asleep when the eye was crossing over, when it went not quiet. Got another tree broken over here. Let's have a look at here, but I think we were lucky. Not really. Didn't really get, as they said, a stage of category, sorry, category three cyclone. Wasn't that bad. I would have said it was a category one, really. Which I guess we're lucky. Let's have a look down here. I would have been unlucky if there was a car parked next to it. Yeah, overall not too bad. Which is good, good news I guess. And um, we weren't affected too bad. Photographs, And we also have another boat that's washed up on shore about another kilometre down the road from where I am here. Uh, look, the Townsville Disaster Group has sent out a text advising that residents can leave their homes now, but they are advising that uh, residents should be very aware of fallen power lines. Now, uh, around 50, uh, 55,000 people are without uh, power in Townsville, and there's also outages in Cairns, Charters Towers, Hinchinbrook and the Whit Sundays. We heard from quite a few residents overnight on ABC local radio. Uh, one resident from Mundingborough described how uh, the roof had been ripped off his shelf and another woman described the sound of the cyclone as something like a freight train. Now, thankfully, Michael, this uh, weather event seems to have been more about wind than rain. Uh, as I mentioned on the Strand, it is a mess. There's a lot of trees down, a lot of branches down, so the council certainly has a big job ahead of it. Uh, trying to clean up that debris. But look, uh, it was only a month ago Cyclone Jasper crossed uh, the coast just north of Cairns at Woodrow Woodrow and as a Category 2 system, within two days uh, that area had received around two metres of rain. So we saw homes inundated and beach communities cut off. That doesn't, that has not happened here. Uh, now it's moving out west and graziers in western Queensland around the Hewenden and Richmond area. We're actually hoping for some rain out there. They're looking forward to this system moving out as it is quite dry. <coughs>